his cue ball, like Gareth said before, his cue ball's second to none. I think for Orphan to have half a chance in this match, he needs to play at 90 plus percent. I think if he doesn't, then I think Mark will run away with it. With that in mind, when you know you've got to come in and play at that level, does that is it quite, almost quite clear? You, you know, there's clarity in that. You, you've got to go out there. You've got to play your best game. Sim- simple as that. Well, yeah. Um, if we look at the if we look at the match in a whole, it's probably one of our fans' biggest matches. Yeah. He's ever had. This to Mark is just yeah as good as a practice session. <laughs> you know I mean like the the title and and obviously the financial reward of it is is nothing nothing to mark that's not saying that he's not going to try because obviously he's, he's going to try his best yeah. and uh, yeah it's going to be very tough for our fan to win because I think the first couple of rounds Mark yeah maybe could have gone out but I think now he's in full flow he's, he's going to be a very tough nut to crack well that's the thing it feels like he's getting I felt like he's been incredibly strong from the start but the, t- the cue ball's getting tighter and tighter as the matches go on as well it's yeah. incredible the level that he's played at and he's going to get first opportunity here just that one yellow left at the top of the table to to deal with I'm not sure if he's actually got an angle where he, he could possibly go on to it now no I, f- I thought he could have maybe stumped through the gap and gone up to the boot line but he might be able to just play this one and come across, or he might be leaving it last. Or well, we've been raving about his cue ball, and he's happy to yeah. to play that big positional shot if it's required. I think he half missed a trick there. I think he should have played that because it was a sort of natural stun shot off the rail. Because he's going to have to play a good shot now. He's going to have to land literally a quarter ball low on it. Anything apart from that is no good. Yellow if he's too short, he's too thin. If he's too high, he's too straight. Too low. It's no good. Yeah, just quit on that shot. Just a fraction. Yeah, it's... Uh, he's got... Well, he's not got a shot, but... It, I don't know if the yellow goes into the top pocket, past the red... It, if it doesn't, then maybe play the red, yellow off the red into the bottom left bag. But he's, he's very much chasing now. Something we haven't seen much from him throughout this whole couple of days, the whole event. But knowing Mark as his snooker background, you know that he's going to make things very awkward, whatever he does after this shot. I, don't, I wouldn't have thought he would throw the frame away. Let's but see what he's got. Is he going for the big double? certainly was not happened so first chance for Mark Selby disappears and this is vital now that really that Arthan wins this frame and gets his a name on the board and tries to put a little bit of pressure on Mark that's the main thing for, for Arthan here he doesn't want to let Mark have it all his own way and then him chasing the finishes down he wants it the other way straight's no good just enough, just a little bump. I think the red passes the yellow into the centre. And if it does, then he can just top it, literally just play the cue ball up towards the eight ball. That sort of a line. And that's as good as uh, frame number one, I think. Yeah, he's in perfect shape here, isn't he? Just enough angle just to get where he wants to, which isn't, to be honest, too far into the top end of the table. It helps him if the bottom one of the two together goes he was just having a good look to see whether it did yeah ideally the top the one closest well the one it doesn't really make a difference to be honest I think we're trying to make something wasn't expecting him to no, put the cue ball there on the jaw I though I thought yeah, just enough angle just to, to punch top, it up yeah, yeah top side of the jaw and now he sort of like needs the bottom the the one closest to the eight ball to go, the bottom one. Yeah. Because he's going to be running the cue ball back down the table, I think, unless he's not got as much angles as it looks like on the camera. Oh, big error from our fan. Never really got hold of the cue ball in that visit and just looked a little nervy the whole visit, to be honest, and 
No, it's not necessarily because of who he's playing. It's more just the fact that the stage he's playing on, the semi-finals, furthest he's been with Ultimate Pool. He knows this is a very big deal for him. May take him a couple of frames to settle in here, but... going to be any mistakes second time around for Mark Selby and he does get the first frame on the board it was a massive uh, visit for our fan because he um, if, if like now going one nil down if he doesn't rectify that straight away well, Gareth said out there in the arena that he has an unbelievable break and okay cue ball loose but the power is there for all to see Gets them exploding really well. Ball's flying in. It's very different to the way that you break, Jack, and obviously your, your break's very well talked about. You you try and get that cue ball right up the middle of the table, whereas our fan, it tends to be all over the place with the cue ball, but he does get balls flying in everywhere and leave himself great chances. Well, yeah, there's just no consistency is it, to the strike, though. That's the problem. I think with a plan like going up the centre of the table is you know when I've hit a, bad, hit a bad one. Yeah. You don't know when our fans hit a good or a bad one. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to tell. He, he's yeah. similar to Tom in a, in a way because yeah. he hits it with that much p pace that if it hits the left side rail or the right side rail, no one would know. They'd just say he's got a huge break, which he has. Some players, and I don't know whether our fan sees it this way, but some players just think, well, I'm just going to hit them as hard as I can and, and whatever happens with the cue ball happens. I just want to get it go powerful and, and care less about that control. Certainly been working for him and a good chance here with his opening break, one that he'd love to get to settle into this match. Yeah, like the first frame, this one is a must because if he goes two behind and then um, I would fully expect Mark to clear from the break every time. So you can sort of, um, he, can, he can be in a lot of trouble here if he doesn't clear this because having the first frame, he'll be a bit anxious because obviously he's had first visit, well, not the first visit, but he had a great chance to win the frame. Still feel like he just needs to get hold of this cue ball. Just keep leaving himself a little bit awkward. Yeah, until normally the case is until something yeah. happens. So he's out of line again. And yeah, he's, I think the red might pass the yellow into the bottom right, maybe. Not sure if we can get that angle. Maybe he could screw into the yellow and hold the cue ball. Which helps him eight. with the eight ball as well. Yeah. It's tight though. But the eight sort of is a big bag into the bottom right. Oh, it is very Ooh. tight. It does go. If you're it right does, behind that, you'd yeah, be happy. If you have the red or red is, sorry, it's yeah. no problem. Might have He's to running play out of time as well. He's running out of time. He's running out of time. He's fouled. Oh, that is that's very foul. close. That's time foul. It felt like it to us. See if the referee asked for assistance or just going to be happy uh, with it. I think that's a, I think that's a time foul. It was very, very close. Oh, well, looks like it's been allowed, so yeah, the referees are there sure. on hand. But the red sitting in front of the yellow means that Mark does have some work here. He could just play the loss of turn and try and hide the white, but looks no. like he wants to be a bit more aggressive than that. He could take the yellow off the red into the bottom. So if he plays this one now, then he'll play the one that's closest to the bottom rail, a touch of right hand side and come in come in and he'll take the one on the right of the two yellows off the side rail and just flick the red out of the way. Right, so he's going he's going one more than that. I'd have preferred to leave them both there so you could play the cue ball and you know you've got a ball in bulk anyway to, to yeah. carry on the potting. Looks like he's just about straight enough to, to go with your plan, though, this yeah. time round. I think that would definitely be his plan. It was, but he's a, a touch, just a touch short on the cue ball. But he's got a, a big rail here to aim at. He's got probably maybe four or five inches down he can go to. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, beautiful shot.
2 0 it is. Lovely counter clearance from Mark Selby. Two chances for our fan, neither taken. Well, Mark continuing with that very soft break, going for the quality of contact. And the break that worked so well for him earlier on in the tournament has been a little bit more inconsistent as the tournament has gone on. And our fan gets another opportunity at the table. And with each one he gets, the pressure will build more and more until he can take one. The yellows is the choice. All the yellows have pockets. Similar level of chance to the previous couple that he's let get away. Yeah, and like the first two frames, I don't want to sound like a bit of a broken record, but what he, he needs to make a finish. He needs to get a foothold in the match because the longer the frames go on and the, the more that Mark builds a lead, the more difficult it's going to be for our fan. See, that was his ball for the, the ball under the eight. That was the problem. He wanted the cue ball off the rail. I think he might be forced to play these two down here now and then go up, play the one into the top right, left pocket, the one in middle last. But then it's you've got to be perfect on that and it's not it's not ideal. Yeah, leaving a, a really tough positional shot till the end. Yeah, it's never the best option. The, or he might... No, he's, he's probably got to play on the one under the, the eight ball now. Decided to leave no, it. He's not good. That's not good. I think there's too much angle, and I don't think he can get inside the yellow. What I mean by that is leave the angle to come down the right hand side of the table. If he lands straight on the yellow into the middle, he, he's he's as good as dead. He he probably best to be a bit to the oh well, a bit high really, because then he can maybe top it off the side rail and come back over to where the cue ball is now maybe at best. But I, I don't know if he can hold this. He's he dragged to. it. He's played it as best as he could. I think he's just okay. I think he is. I think that's probably the best shot he's played so far in terms of had to be precise for the cue ball here, and he has been. He has the chance to get to where he needs to. Yeah, he just wants to make sure he lands as, as straight as he can on this yellow now. Yeah, it's perfect. So he's got his first frame on the board then, and that will settle him down massively. He absolutely needed that one. Excellent finish in the end from our fan. That positional shot, or back-to-back -back positional shots, was absolutely top draw when he needed it. And he gets on the board. And he breaks the ball so hard, even though he's hitting them so soft. It's quite incredible to watch, really. It looks like he's tapping the pack and they explode. Yeah. Once again, balls flying in for our fan. Oh, the cue ball, very unfortunate. Although, I guess what what you'd say there, Jack, is when he lets the cue ball run loose, you can get some, some bad rubs there. But that really is... Oh, yeah, I feel your pain, our fan, I really do. That is tough. The only sort of saving grace for, for our fan there is that the, there is a bit of a cluster there at the bottom right hand side there is a developing shot they're not as easy as just clearing straight up I don't think so he's got to do a little bit of something with the white anyway or does the red above the yellow go into the bottom left pocket if it does then he can sort of play this one into the top now then play the one on the right and then play the red in between the black and the red 
Yeah, it does look like it could go. If that goes, then all of a sudden he's not a disaster there. It clearly doesn't because he's going to play into it. But he's going to be pushing this towards the side rail. He actually wants it on the side rail. Too hard. Yeah, he wanted to push that onto the side rail. So then he actually kept it in the open by slightly overhitting it. He's, he's brought it back into the wards of the yellows. Not see spotted here. So the red goes in the right centre. The other ones what, in play as well. about red into the centre, red into the bottom left, and screw behind, and then the red into the the left centre maybe. I don't know if that red underneath the yellows goes into the left centre. Oh, he's just come round to have a look. Yeah, I think it's tight, but I would have thought right, the clock's going on him. Oh, he's got his extension. He's okay. That dunce is going to go into the breaker. And he's on nothing. Yeah. So, although I'm not going to say nothing yet. <laughs> I'm not going to say nothing yet. Yeah, we've seen a but couple. Our of fan will be sort of pleased about the in-off looking at the table once he sat down because he had a lot of work to do there, Mark did. Slipped on him. And this was the opportunity that, that Arfan wanted from his own break and luckily for him, Mark's let him back in. Just not sure if the occasion might get to Arfan a little bit as, yeah. as the match the match goes on. Yeah, I, for me, I feel it's more the, the occasion, the fact it's a major semi-final, more than the fact that he's playing Mark Selby that would, yeah. would potentially, if, if anything's going to. I'm not sure. I think that Mark's got that sort of aura about him that it's like a, a dominance of the table, even though it's not his game that he plays. He's clearly very confident, even having been so far away even with not even his cue yeah he's using using Vicky's cue it's crazy I'm not sure there's many people on the planet that can turn up to a weekend and play against all the best yeah in well, this field to come up and, and you know and it, it and would be an unbelievable look. achievement well uh, it already is but if he goes on and wins it as it stands at the minute he's odds on to uh as it stands at the minute, I'd probably put him odds on to win the title. Oh, fans going through this one. He's got a bit more control of this cue ball now. It feels like he's, he's where he wants to be through this visit, which did, wasn't how he felt for his first couple of chances. So that winning that previous frame just giving him some confidence. There's one. It's just incredible explosion for what looks like he's tapping the pack. Yeah, it's he's amazing. probably hitting him at maybe like 60% or 70%. Yeah. He's just stunning the cue ball, basically. That's all he's doing. <laughs> what I will say is, though, having Mark around the event has brought a, a different sort of buzz around. It has felt very different this week, yeah. it has to be said, it really has. Thursday night felt like Saturday night. Yeah, I said that yesterday. Yeah. It was crazy really how, how busy it was. Yeah. Uh, it was so hot in there as well. Yeah. I think Midsummer has also helped. Mark's obviously yeah. brought a lot of attention, but also the fact that you know the people have come here for a little bit longer with it being Midsummer and you know, a few, few extra days before the event. Mm -hmm. Of course the rest of the tournament is in full flow in terms of we've got what have we got 288 challenges here I think there's 88 women as well two major tournaments going on there we'll be following that throughout the weekend tomorrow night in particular we'll have the challenger five final for you so his pattern here will be on into the well if he's perfect on it now left centre and then the red that's next to the yellow in the bottom end of the, in the bulk area into the right pocket He's not, so he's going to stun it. Take this one into the middle now. 
then the one on the boot line, then the one in the middle next. That's going to be his route out of his bad ball. So ideally he wants to be as straight as he can or underneath the red. So the white tops into the into the yellow. Decided to move it rather than hold it. Yeah, I'm not sure about that shot because he sort of like, if he didn't catch it full ball and push it towards the right pocket, he was leaving a bit more angle on this shot. I'm not saying that it's, it's hard because it, it's not. But he's now got a screw off the bottom, uh, on and off the bottom rail. Whereas I think if he'd have dropped it onto the side rail, he didn't have to touch any balls. Which is more how he likes to go about his finishes more often than not. Yeah. He likes to keep things as they are and, and pick it apart. I think though, obviously sitting at the, standing at the table there, it must have been nailed on perfect for him to, to play yeah. that shot. He wouldn't have risked it if not. Probably could have done with an extra two rolls on that just to get the cue ball shape further away from the pocket. Just at any pot, he's never going to miss well, a pot. Well, to be fair, he's yeah. never going to miss any pot. Break clearance puts Mark Selby back in front, three frames to two. I just don't like this hand on the table and stunning into the side rail. I just think you're asking for trouble. You can't generate enough power there. Well, this time he gets it right up the middle yeah. of the table. That's, oh, that's, that's heartbreaking. The last one was very, very unlucky. This time he got the cue ball absolutely perfect and did not deserve this at all. Yeah, that was as good as a break that as you can hit. And the layout is very, very good here for Mark. Here, yeah, he's going to just flick the yellow on the side rail over the middle pocket. And that's pretty much uh, the frame, I think, barring a disaster. I think the eight ball does go past the red into the bottom right pocket. Yeah, there's hard to make a sort of case for where this one could go wrong. They're yeah, just laid out absolutely possible. perfectly. Oh, it's definitely possible. I mean, if, if, you watched, well, if you watch some of us play, it's it definitely possible, possible for but, me earlier but, on. Uh, that. <laughs> but for the way that Mark's no, playing, no. for someone like Mark, it, it's hundred percent on every shot. He's he's, ne he's never going to make any silly mistakes. Just want to land flat on the cushion, just where he's queuing up there now. So just inside the red, any angle so the cue ball can go to the right hand side. And then he'll screw back sort of towards the, the middle of the table really. Oh, he's under hit that a little bit. He did play for the rail there where he put his hand. Good news for him is at least it's not straight so he can just get yeah. the cue ball out. Yeah, it'd just be a soft a soft screw with, with left hand side. And he'll just pop it out to sort of where his elbow is now, I think. That sort of area. And the, the eight ball must go into the bottom left pocket. the break this time our fans very unfortunate break where he got kicked in off but it's Mark Selby that opens up a two frame lead and there's been many occasions where he's come back from near near lost basically to yeah and I think he did one today against Phil he did he was he was done against Phil and he somehow managed to win Ooh, in a six red it. double kiss that ball okay back to this match we'll talk about the second semi again in a little bit but I think he that a little too soft because the cue ball sort of stopped and the red come and bounced it up. Yeah, he sort of like checked the, a little bit of a stun shot. Whereas the first match he played yesterday, he was screwing the ball back. But it, it wasn't a screw, it was like a power stun. Yeah, it was coming more up the centre yeah. of the table on repeat, a little bit quicker. So this layout here for... Our fan is also very good. Every ball goes. I 
think it's the one above the eight ball for the eight ball. Yeah. The one on the right side rail that he's taking now. There's Ian Alley watching on, one of the other pros. He's come down for this one on the cushion straight away. The one on the bottom left connects to the one on the bottom cushion. I, I was thinking the other two in the top part of the table, get them out of the way. I would have done that. Get them done, and then the yeah. one on the bottom cushion, and you've got the one over left. Ooh. Oh, that oh, used it wow. all. That shouldn't go in. It shouldn't go in. Going this way, though, it shouldn't make any difference whatsoever because he can connect the one to left centre up with the two at the top, and the eight ball's sitting there waiting. It's just he's seen it slightly differently. Yeah, he's gone down, up, and back down, though. Whereas he clears the three, lands on the side rail, that ball, it should have been his third to fourth last, yeah. then the one that he just popped, then this one, and then he's got the, the yellow that he's going to take next for the eight ball. That was the, that was the pattern, but... Yeah, if you imagine he would be exactly yeah. here with we'll no other balls left on yes. the table. Yeah, exactly that. And you sort of put it into your terms, Jack, the way you see it. You, I've heard you talk about it in this way that, you know, if he lands straight in on the one on the right-hand side cushion, he's won the frame. Yeah. He's out at that point. He's done. He, knows yeah, he's he's, done. he knows he's won the frame at that point. You've got to sort of like four shots out, you're on the black. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's crazy, but the, when you leave yourself in the right angles like this now, obviously the way he's took them, looks comfortable on the eye to a, a player watching but to a, a fellow professional looking at him would be like right he's gone up down the table back yeah. up the table then back down the table it's a little bit a little bit messy but on a layout like this he's been able to get away with it because he's you know he's controlled the cue ball perfectly he's never been anywhere but in perfect position well if you look the four yellows that, are, that is just the ref just moved there yeah that was all of mark's traffic basically yeah so well all of our fans traffic should i say No, just miss it this one a little bit didn't get the cue ball as controlled as he did the previous break you could see it spinning on the spot but balls have still flown in for him and it's another good chance can he get a red can one of them reds go into the middle pocket if the red that's close to the eight ball goes through the gap of the red and the yellow which I think it might then it's a very easy finish because the eight ball goes into the bottom left it looks like it does because he's playing this one first. Yes. Right, so now he's just got to plan his route out now and stick to stick to sort of where he's going with it because for me personally, on the right-hand side, the, s the highest red at the two would be my black ball. Yeah. And the one next to that that's close to the boot line would be my second-to-last ball. And the one by his hand now, you want to get that out of the way that needs as to go soon now. as possible. That needs to go now and screw back anywhere into the middle of the table, ideally onto the blue spot. Yeah, then you have a choice. And yeah. yeah. Oh, little bit fortunate. Very fortunate. Yeah. Very fortunate. If that sits right on top of the eight ball, you can have some issues getting onto it, but it's he gone just far enough to cause no issues at all. He didn't play that. And he now he's going to take the top one and the one that I said as he's black. Then he'll go left side, right side again. Like a zigzag now. Left, right. Well, oh, right, left, right, left. Is he going to leave himself a touch high on this next one? Or can I he think get to he can straight? use the rail, yeah. I think he's okay. He can just nip the cue ball back. Stepped up the pace a little bit here. Marching around the table. Yeah. You don't want to screw this too hard. Because I, I had one earlier. Just a bit fraction harder than that. Spun straight out the pocket. Wow. Yeah, and look, he's got the game to do it, for oh, sure. Oh, he absolutely. I think he just may be like, tighten his cue ball up a little bit, and if he makes his balls and gets his chances, then look, he's going to, he's very, very tough not to crack, but... I'm not... I'm not sure if he if he's like it's it's, it's hard to describe, but I f when you're watching a player, he beat me earlier, by the way. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But when you're watching a player, it's hard to believe that they think they're ever going to lose. Yeah. But with with um, Sean, it feels like he's got that little bit of doubt. I don't know if he has, but he like 
just w watching his body language as he walks around the table because obviously he's very quick at what he does as well. I think I, I know I kind of get where you're going with it. I, I do. I think he's got the utmost belief in what he's doing out there. I just think he can. He comes across very angry when he's out there. Yes. He comes across very hot-headed when he's out yes, there. But that's, actually, yes. you know, I think he's incredibly clever and he sees the game incredibly well. Very um, quick. But very very quick. And sometimes because of the pace, you can kind of forgive that that he's not actually thinking about it yeah. as cleanly as possibly yeah. others can. But the more time I spend with him, the more you realise how clever he is. And it's like when you look at the, the, the real, real winners, like the Mick and Gaz and more, even Mark, they've got a certain, Tom, they've got a certain aura around the table where the, the, it's my table now. It's so almost whatever happens, they're going to, yeah. it's theirs to, yeah. I'm with you completely. Oh, we're talking about that. Mark's working his way through this finish, and this finish was always about this eight ball. Can he play the yellow off the red? Uh, sorry, the yellow off the eight. Well, that's what I was thinking, but I was expecting him to play it early. Yeah, possibly. But he must believe he knows exactly it look, it what's going on with this eight high, ball. Though. It looks quite high, but it must be, it must be unless he's going to top direct into the eight. It's exactly where he wants it to be. He has planned his route out for this moment. I think he's going to top straight into the black. It's dangerous. It's very dangerous, but it's perfect. It must go. I mean, this from our camera angle, this looks incredibly tough. That looks like it doesn't even go. It and really square does. on it. Yeah, oh, it, it was, was tough. Tight. It was very, very tough from there. I actually think what's happened there. He's gone one roll too far, too far on his final ball. On his final ball and if, yes. he, if he goes one roll less, he less. rests onto the red. Yes. And then it's dropping. Yes. Yeah. And our fans sort of got like a. Well, well he's got an opportunity he never thought he was going to have. Big moment in this match. Huge moment in this match. And he's got one ball. Is he going to try and develop it? I don't think you would, would you? I wouldn't. Yeah. Just, just simply because it could go wrong. You don't need to, yeah. Yeah, it can go wrong. And For example, if, if, he, if he is at four ball, look, it, it, he's going to be desperately unlucky not to knock it out. And that it's come proves out lovely. he's made the right decision. Yeah, it's come out lovely. But a for lot, me... A lot of players wouldn't yes. do it. In there. Yeah. That's probably your black, your yeah. black ball there. And, and, and you float it in and you take, take the... That's not good. Yeah, that's not reaction good. tells us yeah, he's not, not happy. Good. That's not good at all. I think he's screwing back straight towards the middle pocket. I think he might actually have to go forward here. And then you're going to have to do it really good. Very good, because if he doesn't time this right, then... And you hit that that's just carelessness, really. More than anything else, he's just pulled it back. And thought, I'm anywhere on this and I'm good. And yeah. he's just landed in that one spot that's a little bit a little bit sticky. The only thing he could possibly do is if he, if he was to maybe screw it off the right off the left side rail and come back to where where like the the eight ball spot is maybe yeah that's what he's just tried oh, it looks like, like he's loading up here brilliant oh, he's, he's hit that ball. so well it's played well had to really ramp up for that one oh, gave himself a, a slight headache but great shot to get the job done he's in a nice position here though because if you lose the frame yeah marks then break in and he's back on serve but He's got a free shot at this frame here to go talk with free to play. Oh, oh not again. He lo I mean, yeah. he's lost the cue ball that time. So that doesn't feel as harsh as the last couple, especially the last one. But that is still very unfortunate. It wasn't going towards that middle pocket. It was just a little bit high, but he has lost the cue ball completely. It's a, it's a miss hit for our fan there, no doubt about it. How are you seeing it? Interesting layout, immediately drawn to, to yellows, strangely, but I think the reds are the maybe the ones here. But it depends what he can do on the first shot on yellows. Well, me personally, if the yellow goes into the 
right middle underneath the red, then I would take yellows. If it doesn't, then I'd be taking reds. Because you could put ball in hand, yeah. give yourself the angle, pop the other yellow out and, and be on the choice. Yeah. yeah. The eight ball clearly goes into the left centre of Wiles. Yeah. just bump, bumped into it then. So his only ball here is the one in the bottom end of the table that he needs to get rid of. And he might... Do you think he was there? He was looking for an angle to get to the right side of the two possibly, together. Possibly, possibly. And he didn't get it. He's not perfect. No, here. he's not. Is there a case for um, playing the double? Maybe. If this doesn't, does it go in middle? No. So double is that low? Yeah, it's low. It is low. Missed it. You saw him drop the shoulders straight away. Yeah. Well, the pressure that our fan is putting on, maybe starting to tell here. A couple of missed chances back to back for Mark Selby. See here, you need, for me, I'll be attacking it from the rail first, just like that. Because the only my thinking was it couldn't go wrong, but it sort of has a little bit. I think it does go to the top right. I think the one in the middle goes. Yeah. And if that goes, he can hold off the one on the rail and he's back okay again. But I think he's been slightly unfortunate there because if that yellow stays maybe like a couple of inches shorter than where it's gone, then he was okay. This time it has that gone was a wrong. Misjudgment. That was just a misjudgment. He thought he was going to hit that full ball and hit the rail yeah. first. And he could get to the full ball, just pot it well, that, that shade done, thicker. Though. I think he hit the yellow thin into the centre. Yeah, he just needed to pot it more centre or, or thicker. Or yeah. thicker, yeah. Slightly thicker, yeah. Well, he's now, this is now an intriguing frame, it really is. This is now a pivotal frame. Well, it's huge. It, because it really is. Having Mark made the, the first error and giving offhand the opportunity basically to go two up with three to play. He's got one into the top left pocket. Looks good. Excellent yeah, pot. Nice. Excellent pot. He's still got the cue ball on the cushion, so he's not recovered the situation fully. And the problem with this shot, next shot is, if he takes the one on the left, is it, it's pretty straight, so it's tough to get out. And with this one, he's going to dig it down. It, he could, could he go into the yellow here? Oh, it's a great shot. Oh, he's played that so very, very well. well. Yeah, very well. Because if he hits the yellow, then anything can happen. Then he could have even cut the yellow in. I think he'll just top back to sort of where the middle pocket is. He's screwing. I don't like this shot. Oh, it goes into the top right. See, I didn't think it went into that top pocket up there. That's the camera angle playing. Yeah, I thought it had when it when he first moved it, but it didn't look like it was going to be needed, but he's back in perfect shape. Excellent recoveries from where he was a couple of shots ago. Absolutely brilliant, and half and dad goes one frame away with three to play. Oh, needed a ball. He really needed a ball, and he's got one. Scrappy. Yeah, immediately scrappy. But, but, trying but, to make something happen, but, and but. that's not come out great. But he's could still dig here. Depends on the the little cluster in the middle. He might be able to pick them apart. Yeah. He can certainly go into them again. I think this is a frame now that our fan will be happy with Mark going for him. Not saying that he won't get them. Yeah. But he'll be happy with him going for them because there's a lot of work to do. 
and when you're six four behind that work to do becomes a little bit harder knowing for the fact of if you make a mistake you're potentially lost also when you're in our fan shoes here you're playing you know when you're playing a great player you're sitting there six four up a race to seven you're not thinking about this frame you're thinking about your next break your next break's the moment that yeah. you know and if you get a here a chance here it's a bonus all you're praying for is him either not make a ball and if he does they go messy and that's exactly what's happened so What's he seen here? Red below the Is yellow, it, it doesn't look like it goes. Plant into the middle and then the red into the bottom right. Yeah, he's lining it up. Huge shot. Oh, it goes through the gap. So, I take it the red goes into the middle as well, so they look quite simple now. Want that one shot there that we didn't really see because the the angles Does it drop down red right into the middle red right into the same middle yeah he's just picked it apart he's just found the gaps found the pattern yeah is he straight or is he okay he looks a touch straight yeah he is he look is. at what he's pointing does the red not go into the bottom right? It obviously clearly doesn't, otherwise he'd just top through. He's trying to find a very small gap here. Yeah, this is a very, very tough shot, and the cue ball is going to be moving. Trying to go off body language here. He's happy, he can yeah. pot it. He's still got to is it put together a cue ball and a pot. Yeah, it just depends how wide it's going to swing off the second rail. If he drops it in, he can take the right, the, black, the eight into the right centre. If not, he'll take that. Well, he'll he take will that. take that straight to the corner. Oh, when Mark Selby needed a finish, it was a horrible layout, but he has got there. Mark Selby pulls one back. He's going to make Arfan Dad go and win it off his own break. Wow, cue ball flying. This time he's going to get the chance. Oh, and if that eight ball stays on the table, it's horrible, but it's dropped in, and now it's a good opportunity. So just a few seconds, wait for the eight ball to come back up. Put that on the table because Arfan made other balls, he gets the opportunity in this frame and you'd be happy with this, with an opportunity to win the match. Well, yeah, he's got a chance and that's the main thing and nothing's really safe. There's no clusters, so it's, it's all about picking the right pattern and, and going about it whichever way you feel comfortable. Just the red nearest the yellow on the left-hand side that's just a little awkward. Yeah, I think I'd be stunning the one in the middle now, taking the one into the top right, the one into the boot pocket. Oh, see, he's getting a bit on the wrong side of stuff here. It's the 15 seconds of shot. It's the first he's visit, short. It's the, first visit in the whole match that. at 15, and it's amazing how it catches you out. He's short on that, and he's going to be short on time again here. It's going to be bleeping. Now... This is not nice. Hampered queuing. I think he's not. I don't think he's hampered. You think, think he's, he's, okay. he's okay? He thinks to the side because he's going to be playing it with left hand side. Yeah. Yeah. He's and okay. He can spin this and get right down to the middle pocket. Oh, how close was that? Excellent it's shot, perfect. though. Right to the wire for an excellent now shot from our Do you screw back and take it in the same pocket or you take it long and for the, and that's it and that's your win I think I'd come back I think I'd just come back out I really would our fan agrees two shots away the biggest shot he's playing about to play and he's got it right. Right in the heart of the so pocket. And this eight ball for the win. And our fan dad is in a final with ultimate pull. He knocks out Mark Selby.
on his return to the sport. What a performance from our fan dad.